Not every day that you get to play a new Atari game, and in today's video, I'm taking a look at Centipede Recharged. And this is being released literally on everything. Atari VCS, Epic, Store, Steam, Xbox Series X, PS4, PS5, the Switch. Atari's rolling out a new series. They're taking some of their classics and kind of re-imaging them. They did this with Missile Command and it was a pretty good game. So I'm gonna take a look at this Centipede Recharge. Going back, you know, I've played Centipede for years going back to the arcade and you know playing it on the original atari 2600 and definitely enjoyed it on the atari 7800 as well as the 5200 as you know this is one of atari's like timeless classics and i want to see how they did with this so sit back relax let's take a look all right here we go centipede recharge i am playing this on the switch i thought i'd check it out as I'm a big fan of this franchise and want to see how well this plays if it's as good as Missile Command Recharge has some built-in achievements and challenges I really like that um, that they add that because I think it adds some playability to this so I'm just gonna see how well I do I, I played a couple games and really want to show you so uh, if you're if you're noticing off the get-go uh, your your shots fire a little slow and especially if you're used to the arcade or the uh, or even in the console versions uh, they came out back in the day but uh, what happens in this version is that you take out the spiders and the spiders give you various power-ups so it's really kind of neat uh, lots of different uh, power-ups that you can get and I, the more I play, the more I uh, seem to uh, discover additional power-ups. And the challenges, too, are a good way of uh, becoming better at playing this. It definitely kind of introduces you to some of the different gameplay mechanics. There's lots of different power-ups and things that can happen in this game, different from the original. And so, yeah, um, the spiders move a little slow. For, uh, at the beginning but they do become faster and so this is this is just kind of classic centipede uh, with some different graphics I want to say that the soundtrack is done by Megan McDuffie and she is known for for various other works uh, she's done uh, lots of video game soundtracks and is credited to several other things but I really like what she did here. It definitely has kind of a chill vibe going on in the background and definitely has that kind of uh, arcade feel. And so, yes, uh, there's lots of different power-ups. I just got like a mirror mode there. Um, spread, there's different uh, spread shots that you can get. There's explosive shots. Um, there's even like kind of like a shield too. So it's pretty neat. And so uh, these... Uh, games are kind of quick burst moments and so this is going to be a really cool game to play if you're you're waiting in line somewhere or especially if you're playing on the switch you know this is a great kind of portable game so that's that's uh that's one game i did pretty good there um definitely want to uh, see if i can beat that and so there is local online leaderboards and you know there's lots to uh, like about this and so you can challenge friends with your scores or uh, post it online and so I think that there's going to be uh, a high score challenge aspect to this game and people that really want to get into it and play for that high score this you know this this is that type of game you know when you played games back in the day it was going for a high score there was a lot of competitive gaming and there's tons of competitive gaming now but you know it was it was a little bit simpler back then where you have these like single screen games and you're just going for that high score and you're playing for hours on end and you know it's just, it's really kind of neat to see Atari coming out with a new game uh, you know uh, I do wish the original centipede was included but that's just me that's me being kind of an educator and wanting to uh, have them share kind of about their franchise and so uh so far so good yeah uh, control wise i wish there was some more control options as i'm not able to use my d-pad 
on my Switch Pad Pro. And so that, um, that to me would have been nice. Now, if you have a VCS, it is compatible with both controllers. And so with a classic joystick controller, that's pretty nice. And so uh, for people that want to play this on Steam, and I do believe the Epic Game Store, you can use that uh, Atari joist, classic joystick controller that they came out with. Um, and so this is kind of a nice game for that. I would definitely uh, see myself uh, playing it that way. And so yeah, there's there's a lot here to enjoy. And I think there's a lot of different power-ups. I just wanted to show a couple games and, and see. It, it does get more frantic. Uh, this is just kind of on the standard mode with the standard settings. There's some graphic settings. There's even an immersive mode I'm going to show. And so, yeah, there's a lot to like here. I, I enjoyed what I've played so far. And so here are some of the challenges. There's 30 challenges, I do believe. And they do be, they do get pretty tricky. And so I wanted to show kind of what, uh, what that looks like. And here's one of the challenges here. And different there's different uh, game setups. As you play this, there's different field options and different enemies, or, and so depending on what challenge you are playing. And so this one is for a high score of 5,000. And it, it also keeps track of when you hit that challenge, and so it's timed. And so that's kind of neat too, because that adds some replayability as you can go back, and even though you've completed a challenge, you can see if you can complete it faster. And so that's a nice feature too. I think the challenges add some replayability. There's also co-op. And so this, this centipede version has co-op and I think that was gonna be a nice touch too. You can do some local local co-op with family members or friends. And so, uh, yes. So there's also this immersive mode. This is what immersive mode looks like. I would like to uh, play this if it, it is uh, compatible with VR. And so definitely want to check that out on a PlayStation 4. And so that would be kind of neat to check out to see if that works with the headset as I think that would kind of add an additional element uh, to this game. And so, yeah, I, I like it. Uh, is it the best centipede that I've played? No, I don't think so. I think it's a nice re-imaging and I do like the graphics. I definitely like the soundtrack Megan has done for the game. Uh, you know, and I think for fans of Centipede, I think they're going to feel at home. Is this going to bring in uh, a new audience of Centipede? I don't know. I think it more caters to people that have already played Centipede, but that's okay with me. You know, I, I'm a big Atari fan. You know, I've covered a lot of Atari on my channel, and I think for the price point, this is good. So, yes, I wanted to kind of show uh, a couple different things here uh, as you progress in the game. Uh, the colors do change. This is with uh, one of the graphic uh, settings taken off. And so it does have kind of a different look and feel. Overall, I don't think it's that bad. And I recommend it to people that maybe grew up with Centipede or a familiar Centipede as I think you're gonna feel right at home. Uh, for 10 bucks, you know, I think the price is right. I think fans of the original or people that grew up with Centipede are really gonna enjoy this. I love that it has co-op. I'd like to check that out with my son and play that later. Uh, I would have liked some different control options, not being able to use the control pad on the uh, Switch Pro. Uh, I definitely would have liked to have some, some different options for that. But overall, not bad. Uh, I think that people that grew up with Centipede are gonna like it. it is it gonna uh, really wow people that don't really like Centipede? No. No, uh, and it would have been nice to have a little bit of information about Centipede, maybe some history, maybe some additional like artwork that you can unlock and talk about this franchise as it's pretty big when it comes to Atari. You know, I when I think of Atari, I think of Centipede as one of their franchises and it would have been nice to have some additional info just about Centipede in general. But that's it. Uh, what did you think? Are you going to be picking this up? What platform are you going to be playing it on? Uh, I didn't give it for the Atari VCS. I have my Switch already hooked up and I just played it on that. I figured there's going to be more people that are going to be interested in playing this on the Switch. And I actually think it's a good idea that Atari is releasing this on everything. Eventually, I will get this for my VCS and do a follow-up updated video about what am I playing on that? So thank you so much. If you like what you see, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and click the bell 
as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Let's keep it positive. This is the immortal John Hancock, and you have a good day.